Okay, hey everybody, back again. Uh, hopefully Facebook's going to work with us today. I'm going to be doing Nightwing. This is a classic uh, black and blue version. Um, hope you guys like it. So, getting right into this. This is one of my favorite characters. Um, as I mentioned, with the Robin thing that got dropped, thanks to th thanks to Facebook. Um, this is one of my favorite characters because of the fact of the evolution of the character. He is one of the only comic characters to grow and go from a childhood hero position to a full adult hero in his own right. And I really, really dig that fact. Because not a lot of characters do that. They don't uh, evolve very well. Most either get cancelled, get revamped, or um, get killed. And that's the end of them. But a lot of this character's original approach is still there. Uh, Dick Grayson came out of college, couldn't fit back into being the groove with Robin, so he went out on his own and became Nightwing. So I find that very fascinating and very cool. They did a great evolution process with it, and the character is still just as strong today as he was back when he originally came out in the 80s as a prime standalone and it's continued this day with uh, the Titans everybody knows that um, Robin is in the Teen Titans but the funny thing is that the original Titans team was uh, the Dick Grayson Robin, not the Tim Drake version. A lot of people don't know that. And I went in with the crested, I know that's not the original mask for this one, but um, they changed it over the years so much, I just went with my own favorite version of it. So yeah, the mask has been modified a little bit. It's not true to the original um, Nightwing uniform that came out. But each artist modifies it as they go anyway, so it's not like it's written in stone. Each artist takes a little tweak here and there on this character, and I am absolutely no different in that regard. <laughs> hey, Tom, thanks for joining, man. I happen to like the longer version of the Robin symbol on the chest here. Um, it's just a personal choice. So please don't come at me and say, it's wrong, because this is just an artistic interpretation. But, yep, this is going to be a fun one. And I got to post... Um, I know I'm a slacker. I gotta post those uh, other couple of cards because I have them finished. But 
uh, after the Facebook fiasco the other night with Robin, with last night, in fact, with Robin, I uh, did not get posting them, uh, get to posting them like I was supposed to. I just kind of went back to work with other stuff since I was having so much trouble with Facebook. Um, it was acting weird yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it decided to throw me out and let me run on for 20 minutes like I was filming everything and uh, drew the complete card and you <laughs> you guys weren't there when I found out and got done uh, <laughs> that technology needs to be worked on just a little bit but <laughs> it was all good so I was reading your post there, Matt. It, is that the way they did it? They made... Um, I know Dick Grayson is Nightwing, but I thought they went back to the original Dick Grayson model. I didn't know they made Jason Todd. I know J Jason Todd was Red Hood, but I didn't think he became the new Nightwing. Is that the way that went down? Because I don't read a lot of the 52, so um, I don't know. I didn't know any of that storyline. I don't want to go into a dissertation about it or anything like that. That's my famous way of saying I don't want to, you know, get tied up in a big debate about it. But, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep this armor very simple because back when this character first came out in his own series, he wore these black battle pads on his forearms for like combat protection. It was a, it was a little weird because you couldn't see them. They would show up from issue to issue, and sometimes they were there and sometimes they weren't. Um, strange, but uh, One of my favorite artists, Scott McDaniels, when he did this, um, when he did Nightwing, <clears throat> he always drew the battle pads on the arm, um, the gauntlet style, and it was always so cool to watch, because his stuff was just phenomenal, and still is, he's still out there, um, but he used to draw these these gauntlets like this almost like the old uh, like the old Robin the the uh, Tim Drake old Robin padded suit he would draw gauntlets like that for the battle armor on the forearms and that's what I'm gonna go with here just very simple pads there a um, couple of lines underneath to show the strap where they connect and that's it very very simple stuff I know a lot of people are going to want more pizzazz to this one but um, this is a very simple design and it being black again as always I don't want to overwork it so I'm going to keep it very simple and as clean as possible now here comes the hard part with Dick Grayson's hair because his hair is never the same way twice and I was taught to do it like this to draw the swoosh over the top crest it around the back with a couple of peaks like that come up and make one over the top and then peek it out the other way and come in like this like that and then draw the blocks for the hair on the side like that and the reason I was taught it that way is because of the fact that when you come in you can put in the drop shadow underneath you know the underneath the big folds of hair and stuff like that but it always makes that that swooshy look he's got because 
Um, how it came to be was in the first issue of Nightwing standalone series, he had longer hair back then, and he had a an actual ponytail when he started um, as this incarnation. So he had a ponytail when he moved off to be his own hero and his own character uh, in Nightwing number one. He got into a fight where it got cut off by a knife, and then it it had this overgrown, offcut thing going on because of the way he had his ponytail pulled in a part at the time down the back of his head. It used to go down this way for the longest time and then they cropped it off and it made this swooshy flop over thing going on with his hair. Sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's longer, uh, sometimes it's more of a manga spiky thing uh, but that's just the way the character went down so um, don't shoot the messenger if you don't like it um, it's just the way I prefer to do it so we'll leave it at that and move on and fill some of this out. And I was going to do, when I designed the layout, just so you guys know, I was going to put in, the idea I had was to put in a little bit of um, a, a slap in the face to uh, Dick Grayson's mentality. Because even though he's a great character in his own right, he always has this uh, father-son dynamic that he's had with the Bruce Wayne character since his, in, since his uh, inception as Robin, he's always had that father-son bond with him <clears throat> where I wanted to put him in the, well, like the bat signal flashing over him and have it, you know, light up down here and up there and uh, have the bat signal flash over him and kind of shade him out like he was in the shadow of Batman. Um, I'm, uh, I may still do that, I don't know. Uh, it was just a concept I was playing around with when I did the design. Because some people have been asking me to put in more of the uh, traditional trading card style backgrounds instead of just coloring them out, which I'm all for that. I can do that. I want to make these progressive, so um, if that's what you guys want to see, that's what I'll do. And I can still do um, plenty of detail into these penciling sessions with the backgrounds at that level because uh, as we know I work a little faster than some people but um, not a competition as most people would like to make it out to be just all in good fun So, I'm going to come in over here, pop in a little light right there, and shade this side out. And we'll go that route. Because I'm really digging the look of this thing so far. <clears throat> and the weird thing about Robin with this is the the way the way they designed this costume, it almost looks, in a comic book incarnation, it almost looks just like um, the the rubber suit from the Batman and Robin movie. It has that lighting and texture to it like it's actually a rubber suit rather than um, a fabric suit, which we're used to, you know, the, span the classic spandex. Um, in this incarnation, it looks like it's 
got that rubber padded look. I mean, that's the only way I can describe it. Is is it looks like that uh, that Batman that Batman and Robin movie. Where Chris O'Donnell played uh, Robin, and to see him on screen, I thought he actually did a, re a reasonably good job. Um, when that movie came out, I was a teenager, and uh, yeah, it it really resonated with me. Of course, that was the big thing at the time. Everybody thought it was going to be like the Tim Burton um, '89 movie, and it, of course, that franchise carried out, but didn't play out. <laughs> Quite at the quality everybody expected. Uh, Joel Schumacher, no offense to him, but, uh, you know, it was kind of like an homage to the 60s Batman spoof series with Adam West. They played that very seriously and very dramatic, and it was that's the reason it went camp, because they played it so serious and so over the top. And yes, I'm cheating and blacking out the bla the back of the hands here because this version of Nightwing also has that pad that runs across the back of the hand. But I'm not going to draw it all in. I'm just going to shade it out. And it's helping me block this out for expediency of execution for you guys. And here shortly, by the way, uh, later in the afternoon, in about an hour or so, uh, I am going to be doing a card, one of my commissions, for uh, Mr. Becker and his character Permafrost, which we delayed because of the issues with Facebook Live holding us over and um, holding our video hostage. So... I wanted to uh, catch everybody up on that one. We will be doing that today as well. And I have to post Hal Jordan um, Green Lantern, the Hal Jordan Green Lantern. I have to post the Lobo, and I have to post the uh, Booster Gold. They are finished. I do have them. I will be uh, showing them for you guys. Because I know the part of the participation of finishing this out is to have the finished product and show you. Now that Facebook's not acting up quite as badly. Which, that's unfortunate because I love this platform. It's a great platform. And don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking it at all. Um, I, I love doing this stuff for you guys. Especially on a live intermediate format like this. Um, where we can be somewhat interactive. I mean, I don't know if it was the weather, if it was the timing, if it was a fluke thing or what, but, uh, yeah. <clears throat> it was funny to me because when I was doing the Robin, I was sitting there filming just like I was talking to you guys like you were there, and when I went to save it, it said, uh, you know, your footage is temporarily damaged and needs to be recompiled and blah, 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 and I was just like, oh boy, it's gone. And it was, it was gone. Um, the Facebook gremlins ate it. That's a technical term. Hashtag Facebook ate it. <laughs> Facebook gremlins. You guys can promote that all you want to. That is technology at its best. Whipping out these knuckles here. Not copying out on those, making sure they pop out. So, very cool. We have a Nightwing coming along. All right, time to do the thing with the hair here. So, are you guys going to see, um, on a side note, are you going to see Wonder Woman this weekend? 
for everybody that watches this video at a later time, this is the premiere weekend of um, Wonder Woman in theaters from DC Comics and Warner Brothers, which Warner Brothers owns DC. Um, just making plans for that film. I have no idea if I'm going to go see it this weekend or not. I have premiere tickets at the, one of the local theaters, which I always get those. Thank you very much. But um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I have a, a master viewing this uh, this evening, and it's good through the weekend. I don't know if I'm going to go or not. I won't throw the theater that does it under the bus. Thank you very much. <laughs> but because um, I do a lot of work for them promotional wise and artwork and things for their advertising and that's one of the little perks you know but uh, yeah I'm gonna see if the family wants to see it if not that's cool too I may go over there by myself I don't know we'll see how that goes And I'm going to sharpen these eyes down a little bit so he doesn't look, so he looks a little more grimacing. Because I know that mask is actually cut that way. There we go. That tightens that down a little bit. And there we have Nightwing. Now, <clears throat> I can go ahead and flesh this out a little bit. With, I like to uh, add in these little tweaks and stuff. And I think I'm going to go ahead with this one because this just seems ironic to me. that Batman would come in and be which is in his own mind but um, the idea of the character being haunted by his mentor and feeling in the shadow of him always shows up there It's going to be distorted. I'll put it on a uh, on a brick wall. We'll cut in a little brick back here. There, that way we have that. And um, I'll color that down to where it'll look gritty and whatnot. And we'll color it in with a 1960 style bat signal. So we have, you know, the, the yellow coming across here, the yellow and the white. And it'll, I'll gray this out a little bit to where he used darker hues. So it shows uh, that he's got the symbol going over him. I'll cut in the tail right here. Let's see. Line that up. Yeah, right there and we'll go that way and instead of blacking this out so it doesn't look funky I'll, I'll gray it with a dark gray um, a charcoal color that way it comes across that way and doesn't show as a black shadow over him and freakishly black out the whole card um, I think that'll work best but 
yeah, there is Nightwing. Hope you guys dig it. So, um, before we go, tomorrow's card is going to be a classic Batman villain. Uh, staying in this vein, I'm going to run with uh, the Penguin. That's going to be a fun one. <clears throat> and I'll tell you, in my entire career, I've only drawn him twice. And it's going to be funny. Uh, the first time, he looked kind of like uh, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> and then the second time, it was an animated version, so he had the little pointy nose and the weird look. But um, as far as that goes, we'll, we'll see how he comes out tomorrow. That should be interesting. But uh, another one down. This is day 31. I'm glad you guys keep hanging in with these things, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.